Jason, was it a showmance for you? Was it real? I mean, I hesitate to answer that question because it's... Jason Oppenheim is opening up about his breakup with Chriselle Staus. Hey guys, welcome back to Shared News. We have your first look at the Selling Sunset reunion trailer and it's all about Jason and Chriselle's breakup. But first, if you are new here, make sure you subscribe to our channel and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. As always, I'm your host, Morgan Wright, joined today by Zachary Reality and Allison Van Dam. You guys, before we get started, I want to ask each of you if you thought Jason and Chriselle was actually a real couple. Let's start with you, Zach. I'm going to go with yes. I like to believe that this is all real in my magical world of unicorns and reality TV. And I feel like Jason doesn't really show a lot of emotion usually on the show. But when it came to his relationship with Chriselle, we saw a different side of him really break out. So I'm going to go with yes. I think it was real. And I hope it was real. I was very hesitant because I myself was not a believer uh, and thought that it was maybe for publicity and maybe just for the show. Um, but after seeing this clip and also after talking with Mary on Monday, I think I'm convinced that it was real. I think I, I believe them now, but I was definitely one of the naysayers at the beginning. Okay, well, I'll just go ahead and throw it out there. I think this totally was a showman's. I think it was all set up to get a storyline for season five. But you know, Allison, you mentioned this clip that we're getting ready to watch of Jason. He is very emotional when asked about Chris Shell. At the very start of this little teaser, we see the host, Tan France, ask Jason, was this a showman's for you? Was it real? Let's watch his response to that question and then we'll get your guys' thoughts about it. I hesitate to answer that question because it's, I'd wow. be like, because I, I, I don't want to, give it any credence. I mean, it's like asking me if the earth is flat. It's a stupid question to me. Ooh, okay, uh... so very defensive. Do you guys think that this is a bit of a deflection or an appropriate response? What did you think, Allison? I think it just fits with everything we've ever seen from Jason and Brett. I mean, we've seen them as business owners and running a brokerage for the last five seasons. And we've watched, you know, even in this past season, Chriselle versus Brett, agents try and counter their points or argue their points or say, you know, I don't think we should list it for that. Or I don't want to, you know, tell my client X, Y, and Z. And they're very matter of fact, it, it can sometimes be their way or the highway and they shut things down very quickly. So it didn't surprise me that he was a little bit defensive because I feel like we've been seeing that from them for years. Yeah, that's true. I feel like Brett was very defensive this past season and we saw a different side of Jason because he was happy in love, but maybe that breakup, you know, was hurting him more than I would like to admit. Uh, Zach, what did you think about how he answered this question? Yeah, I mean, I kind of agree. I think Brett was a lot more um, unreasonable than Jason. I feel like Jason's a little bit more gushy. And I mean, listen, I think that it was really hard for him to open up about this. This this show has never been about Jason. You know, he's kind of taken the backseat approach as well as his brother, where they're really not involved in the drama. It's all about the women. There's like 10 women at the brokerage. So Jason's not really used to opening up and being comfortable on camera. So I think it really is just taking him a minute to adjust to putting his private life on the show. He's not used to that, even though he's on a reality show. I do understand why Morgan and a lot of other fans are skeptical about the relationship just because of the timing. That's not something we touched on yet, but Chriselle and Jason, you know, started this relationship at the end of season four and then conveniently it goes on all of season five and then ends up with the breakup. So I think the timing is really just is what's making a lot of fans question the authenticity, but I don't think that Jason is acting. I think he's too real and too raw to put on a performance. Chriselle, on the other hand, well, that's another story. <laughs> Well, we're going to watch a little bit more of Jason's reaction because like you said, Zach, he is very vulnerable when answering questions about mm -hmm. Chriselle and that's not all he had to say. So let's take a look at our next clip. I don't feel the need to, to explain to people that, you know, a very meaningful. <clears throat> And that awkward silence lasts about 20 seconds. Pretty much the rest of Literally. the teaser for that video is Jason trying not to cry. Here's the question that I have. You know, he says, I don't feel the need to explain to people a very meaningful relationship. 
why do you feel like you don't owe the audience that? You're on a reality TV show where your relationship played out on the show. Do you think he's just being stubborn or do you think that he has a valid point and that he doesn't need to explain anything to people, Zach? I think he does need to explain a little bit, just kind of give us some insight into some concepts. But I think what Jason is overall saying is that like, of course it's real. I don't know why I'm going to give energy to the people that just want to make up narratives in their own head about whether the relationship is real or fake. You know, as far as these reality stars are concerned, they're being authentic on camera and we're supposed to believe it. The problem is there's been so many mishaps with Selling Sunset that leave us to believe that there's many fake storylines. And I mean, I don't think that he's trying to be, you know, fake or anything. I think Jason's one of the realists on the show. But I do think he owes us a little bit of context because we didn't get to see the breakup on camera. And that was an issue. We didn't see what actually happened. We just saw Jason tell Mary about it. And we saw Chriselle tell Emma about it. And Allison, if you can kind of explain why we didn't see the breakup on camera, I would love more insight on that too. So Zach, I think it was you and I that talked about this last week and we were so curious as to why we didn't see uh, the breakup. So Mary went on the Vile Files on Monday and I was in studio and I was asking her that question because I knew we needed answers. Mm -hmm. And she said that when the breakup happened, there weren't cameras there and they didn't really, you know, necessarily want to recreate it in a way because that would have just been fake and too hard and too emotional. So what I concluded from the whole situation was it was just too raw. By the time it was done, it had happened. They didn't want to, you know, reopen it again. So that's kind of why we saw the Chriselle just summarizing it for Emma as opposed to seeing it when it actually went down. Wow. Yeah, I know. You guys are trying to convince me. I feel like one second I'm starting to believe it, and then I snap out of it real quick. But we have one more uh, clip that we want to share with you guys. Uh, Tan France, who is hosting, asks Jason, what is making you so emotional? Because he gets very choked up. He can't really get his words out. And then this is the final thing that Jason has to say. I mean, there's a lot of sadness and loss. Mm -hmm. I think watching the show uh, made it more difficult, you know, brought it back up. So clearly he still cares about Chriselle in our fairy tale, fairy tale world of rainbows and unicorns, like you said, Zachary. Do you guys see any chance of them rekindling in season six? Not at all. I mean, there's rumors going around that Chriselle is in a new relationship, which maybe we'll get into in a second. But I kind of think that the chapter has ultimately closed because Jason doesn't want to have kids, or maybe he does. I mean, Mary was kind of explaining on the Vial Files that Jason, like, warmed up to the idea of having kids because of Chriselle, and, like, people are in your life for a reason. But I just feel like she's moved on, because while he was crying and, like, sobbing over it, she kind of seemed a little bit, like she's really moved on so it must have been harder for him but morgan i'm curious because you haven't like officially told us like what is the one thing that is making you think that they were so inauthentic or weren't real the whole thing just seems way too convenient you know especially with how many times babies were brought up on this season every time chriselle and jason were in a room together somebody brought up having a kid at this point, they were three or four months into the relationship. Why is everybody around them asking if they're about to pop out a baby together? And for that to be the very specific reason on why they broke up, I just feel like the whole thing is way too coincidental. I feel like if this wasn't a planned storyline front to finish, every single agent at the brokerage wouldn't be asking Chriselle and Jason about babies 24 7. I mean, there was even a scene with, I, I can't remember if it was Jason's mom. I believe it was Jason's mom, where that's the only thing that she asks. <laughs> and to me, it just seems way too obvious that they're trying to push this storyline of Chriselle wanting a baby, Jason still wanting to be a bachelor, and that's what ends up splitting them up. I mean, am I the only one that feels that it was way too obvious? I think it, it fits in it fits in with everything we've seen in the show before. I mean, I feel like for season five, take a shot every time they ask them if they're having a baby. For season four, take a shot every time they say, oh my God, Christine, your body, you just had a baby, how hot you are. Like, you're so skinny. Like, I think we could have found something like that for every season, but I'm with you. It was like 
kind of beating a dead horse at that point. But I mean, how much of that is just the editing? We know that they film for hours and hours a day. They have to kind of construct these storylines. And it's not necessarily like Chrishell and Jason who are doing the storylines. It's the producers and the editors. So, I mean, I totally understand your point, Morgan. And I agree. I think timing was very convenient, the baby thing. But it also is like Chrishell really wants to have a child. Like she is just turned 40. You know, she wants to figure this out. She doesn't want to wait any longer. She might even do it by herself in season six um, if Jason doesn't come around or if she doesn't meet somebody else. So I don't really know, but I do agree that whole part was amped up for the show. And it kind of was the same thing with Heather, except I guess, you know, Heather was more of a side character this season while Chriselle is clearly the main focal point. Yeah, and I think I just am a little skeptical because I know the creator of Selling Sunset is Adam DeVillo, who also created Laguna Beach and The Hills, who, Mm -hmm. you know, to me, Selling Sunset is a carbon copy of Laguna Beach just with real estate. You can't tell me that this could not be (laughs) Elsie, Kristen, Lowe, Audrina just selling, you know, million dollar homes 20 years later. It feels very similar. And I mean, we've had cast members from both shows, Spencer and Heidi, Jen Bunny, Brody Jenner, even Elsie herself Mm -hmm. come out years later and say, this is fake, this is fake, this is fake, and this is fake. So I just feel like Adam DeVillo struck gold, you know, when he created The Hills and Laguna Beach, iconic reality television. Why wouldn't he do it again with Selling Sunset and use the same exact formula? Um, Before we go, I want to ask one more question because I know, Zach, that you mentioned that Chriselle might be dating someone new. Can you give us a tea on that? There has been rumors floating around that she has been dating a TikToker, a musician, G Flip. Apparently, they were even in um, G Flip's new music video together and were making out the entire time. And they've been spotted a few times holding hands and getting touchy. Now, G Flip does use pronouns they slash them. So I want to make that very clear. Um, But I mean, I had no idea that Chriselle swung both ways, if this is true, which is obviously like so awesome. But I mean, I'm just a little bit um, shocked. Yeah, it's my prediction that this will come out at the reunion. Because we've seen all the social media clues, you know, and now we know that Christine isn't going. So we need a bombshell moment. Mm. I think it's going to be Chriselle saying, I moved on. I'm with someone new. And then confirm Chriselle's relationship with G Flip. I don't know, Allison, have you seen anything Ooh. about this online? I, I've seen it online. And also Mary did say again on the Vile Files mm-hmm. that there is a moment in the finale that Mary described as an oh my God moment. And Mm -hmm. she went on to say that she knew about it. She knew about this moment, but she didn't think it was going to be revealed on the reunion, which kind of pairs, you know what I mean? If she and Mary are close friends, I think Mary would know that Chriselle is dating someone new, but maybe Mary didn't think she would expose it to the whole world, talk about it in front of Jason. So if that is the case, I think that would fit really well with what Mary's teased out of us about the reunion. Um, But yeah, so maybe that's the oh my God moment. I know Nick guessed that like someone was pregnant, but Mary was just like, I can't say, I can't say. I don't know who would necessarily be pregnant, but I still don't even know if that would be, I guess, but would that really be like, a shocking oh my god moment like we've watched them do fertility treatments we've watched them try really hard i think that would be more of a oh my god moment not an oh my god (laughs) moment no an omg (laughs) moment would be if davina finally sold the 75 million dollar house now that would have everybody freaking out or if like emma and micah are like engaged i mean i'm trying to think of like other people here but obviously chriselle is the main focal point I just wish Christine showed up. Like, I just, it's just going to be a real Debbie Downer to see her not there. And the elephant in the room. That's all we have for you today. Please make sure to leave your comments, your questions, your thoughts on anything that we discussed today. Whether you think Jason and Chriselle is a fake relationship. If you think my prediction will be right with Chriselle at the reunion, we love to hear from you guys. And you can also come say hi to us on our social media pages. Our handles are on the screen right now. Thank you again for watching and we'll see you back here next time. Bye.